Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. Papa, turn right 245, report localised established 27. Airbus following in the footsteps of Boeing has announced various changes to the production of their jets going forward, like that of the A350 series, with the global pandemic and lack of need for brand new aircraft, hitting the twin engine jet greatly. With this in mind, Airbus has announced that it will be cutting back the monthly production of their A350 series, with the original six per month now coming down to five per month. Airbus, in addition, felt the full effect of recent drop-offs in demand while announcing its half-year results for 2020. Specifically, in this case, I'll focus right now on their revenues, which have decreased drastically from the original 30.9 billion euros of the previous first half of last year, being 2019, and now that's at 18.9 billion euros. So an exactly 12 billion euro difference for the same period one year apart. On top of this, the major drop-off in deliveries, which I'll get into, meant that the aircraft manufacturer posted an earnings loss of some 1.8 billion euros for the first six months. Again, this is a rather stark contrast to the profits of over 2 billion euros it posted for the same period last year. This is something we're seeing across the board, and while is a concern, given all the circumstances, does make complete and utter sense. I firmly believe that if we were seeing them posting a 1.8 billion euro loss for the first six months without a global pandemic, some questions would severely need to be asked to any aircraft manufacturer and any airline for that matter. Airbus expectedly blamed the current aviation climate for the reasoning behind the drop-off in demand. The European aircraft manufacturer further noted that it had actually some 150 aircraft or so that were not delivered in the first half of this year. A sizable amount, but given the current climate, something that makes perfect sense. And with time, figures should improve, but it will be a lengthy period before things return to normality. At this point in time, alongside, airlines do also not need that new aircraft delivered. And in turn, like you hear me keep saying, these planes continue to stack up over time while awaiting for their official delivery, in turn hurting Airbus or even Boeing for that matter. Today's video was a little bit of a shorter one. It's still a very, very quiet time. With COVID really setting in to stay, not much has been going on in the aviation industry, and that is why videos have been rather spaced out. With that being said, I do appreciate everyone that still tunes in, and you know when something is happening, I'll be getting to it as soon as possible. Take care, enjoy your Sunday and the rest of your weekend, and I will see you all next time.